The death toll in separate accidents caused by heavy rains across Pakistan has surged to 1,000 since the start of monsoon season on June 14th, the National Disaster Management Authority said late Saturday night. The authority said that around 1,500 people were also injured in separate incidents, whereas 950,000 houses were partially or fully destroyed in the calamity, rendering millions of people homeless in the country, which has been facing the serious impact of climate change for the last few years. The killed included 348 children and 207 women. The authority said that the South Sindh province remained the worst hit area during the ongoing monsoon, where around 350 people were killed and over 1,000 others were injured in various accidents. About 3,500 kilometers of roads, nearly 150 bridges and 170 shops were swept away by flash floods across the country. An estimated 719,000 livestock perished in the rains across the country. Rescue and relief operations by the NDMA, other government organizations, volunteers, non-government organization and the Pakistan Army were underway in the flood-hit areas. According to Pakistan's Meteorological Department, heavy rains will likely continue across the country during the next few days. Road and railway traffic was badly disrupted due to heavy downpours, which inundated several roads and railway tracks besides washing away scores of others. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif asked the public to extend financial help to flood victims by generously donating to his flood relief uh, fund. He also appealed to the international community to help the country cope with the losses and rehabilitate the victims. During a visit to a flood-hit area of Sindh on Saturday, Sharif said that the government has allocated 38 billion Pakistani rupees to provide relief to the flood victims. And around 25,000 rupees in cash will also be provided to each affected family to meet the basic needs for survival.